Hong Kong-based Voto Mobiles to foray into India with three smartphones and an aggressive offline strategy. The smartphones will be priced affordably between R6K and 12K. Over the past few months we've been seeing increasing competition in the offline space in the Indian phone market apart from established players like OPPO and Vivo brands that have so far been online only such as Moto and Xiaomi for example have firmed up their offline strategies and even new brands making their way into the country are noticing this trend one such company is Hong Kong based Voto Mobiles which is set to make its debut in the country soon but considering the intense competition. In the market how will the brand set itself apart in an exclusive conversation with the company's business head Mr. Sayantan Day we tried to get a sense of Voto's plans for the Indian market. Unlike other phone makers who take a staggered approach for their offline play Voto Mobiles will be aggressive from day one it's aiming to have a network of over 400 distributors across India Viaduct its partnership with Reddington and Rashi Peripherals Mr. Day states we've already signed up 323 distributors and the remaining would be signed up soon the brand is gearing up to launch its smartphone offerings within the next two weeks probably August 17th or 18th. In the initial phase Voto Mobiles plans to bring three Android-based smartphones in the country V2, V2i and V4. The V2 siblings are built around 5-inch HD displays and feature a combination of 13-megapixel rear cameras and 8MP selfie snappers powering the 2R 1.3 GHz quad-core spread from 9,832 socks coupled with 2GB RAM. Both the devices would be fueled by a 3000 mAh battery and would be available in multiple color options of black, rose, gold and champagne the Voto V2 and V2i differ in storage capacities and ship with 16 GB and 32 GB ROM respectively thanks to dedicated micro SD card slots you can also extend the storage without compromising the dual SIM functionality the Voto V4 on the other hand is a powerful budget smartphone with a 5.5 inch full HD display and an octa-core processor from Mediatek it will also be packing dual cameras at the back one 3MP plus 5MP and an 8 meg shooter at the front the metal clad smartphone would utilize a beefy 3500 mAh battery. The brand wants to test the waters with the V2 and V2i and once there's enough awareness about Voto Mobiles the V4 will be launched mostly around October to exploit the festive sales while we couldn't get the exact pricing of the smartphones the brand will be launching these smartphones at an affordable price bracket between R6000 to 10000 when asked as to how Voto Mobiles plans to differentiate itself from the competition Mr. Sayantan highlights that we won't be running behind numbers and we want to create a brand name for ourselves we aim to provide good design and powerful specs at a compelling price point he went as far as to say that with smartphones from Voto consumers can expect Xiaomi like configurations at similar prices which can be easily purchased from a neighborhood retail store he adds that the company is learning. From the mistakes of phone brands that are struggling in India as well as aiming to adapt the strengths of companies like OPPO and Vivo. Voto Mobiles has partnered with Hong Kong Sunray for exclusively manufacturing its smartphones as per Mr. Sayantan while these phones are made in Hong Kong currently the company might start making in India in the coming months. Asking about whether the brand will be foregoing online channels completely he says that Voto smartphones will also be available online at the same prices however depending upon the response, we might launch some online exclusive handsets or a color variant that's only available on e-commerce stores. It's interesting that the burgeoning smartphone market in India continues to invite new phone companies but it remains to be seen if the new players are able to make a mark for themselves Voto Mobile seems to have done its homework well but how customers respond to it will shape up its future in the subcontinent.